Hey there everyone, welcome back. Do you remember this YouTuber Matt's off-road recovery and how he allegedly committed insurance fraud? Well, it's alleged that off-road recovery YouTuber could face prison time for insurance fraud. That's right, it says Matthew Wetzel of Matt's off-road recovery on YouTube has been charged with one second degree felony count of insurance fraud. His towing company is accused of fraudulently collecting money from the American Automobile Association. It's charged that carries a potential sentence for up to 15 years in prison. Well, there's been an update. It states that the Utah YouTuber pleads no contest to making fraudulent AAA claims. So the article states that uh, the Utah man who runs a popular YouTube channel called Matt's Off-Road Recovery has pleaded no contest to charges claiming that he fraudulently collected money from AAA through his company, Winder Towing. Matthew David Wetzel, 46, pleaded no contest to false or fraudulent insurance claim, a Class A misdemeanor on February 22nd, and will be required to pay back the money received from the disputed claim. Claims. Uh, it states that Wetzel's attorney, Jason Velez, said that the plea means that there was a dispute over the process rather than the substance of the claims. His client felt this resolution provided an opportunity to move forward and focus on serving others, which is great. It states that between January 2019 and August 2020, Wetzel collected over $15,000 from AAA to cover claims that were misrepresented. According to charging documents, the charges were filed after the Utah Insurance fraud division received a complaint and completed in an investigation into the claims. The investigator said Wetzel maintained that there was a service tied with each job but did admit to providing service at other times which means the claims contained false information. Charging documents also say the claims misrepresented which vehicle was towed and where a vehicle was towed. So he pleaded uh, no contest which doesn't mean he pleads guilty or uh, not guilty but no contest. Uh, it claims that the 5th District Judge Will Jeffrey Wilcox ordered Wetzel to serve 18 months of probation and pay fines including $15,000 to AAA and $1,700 to Utah's Insurance Fraud Division. Velez said they recognized there were technical violations in the claims but said Wetzel's conduct matched the spirit of customer service that AAA has a reputation for. Matt will continue to serve his community, the people of Hurricane in Southern Utah, as he always has coming to the aid of those who need him. He plans on fully complying with the probation agreement, seeking early termination of probation and other benefits as set forth therein, the attorney said. Richard Piat, spokesman for the Utah Attorney General's Office, said prosecutors are satisfied with the outcome because he has to serve 18 months probation as well as pay back every single dollar that he allegedly defrauded them out of. Because Mr. Wetzel admitted guilt, agreed to pay full restitution and comply with the terms of this plea agreement, we're satisfied that justice has been served in this case. Wetzel's YouTube channel, which shows him rescuing vehicles that are stuck off-road in southern Utah, has over 1 million subscribers. So he pleaded guilt, which they say admitted guilt. He has to pay back the $15,000 plus $1,700 to Utah Insurance Fraud Division, and he has to serve 18 months of probation. So I guess they're happy with the outcome. Uh, he basically pleaded guilty he doesn't have to serve any jail time just gets a bunch of probation and has to pay the money back that's actually really good for him and nice um i wish you know some cases where if somebody got caught you could just literally pay your way out of it but uh in other cases people actually have to serve the time so i guess uh that's the update uh for uh, matt's off-road recovery and he's basically free to go just has probation to deal with and has to pay every single dollar back that he was alleged to defraud him out of. Quite interesting uh, the, of the outcome personally because in other cases like I said uh, if you couldn't pay them back or even you know if you got caught admitting to guilt or no contest and actually got proven guilty of defrauding you would actually be serving time you wouldn't just get probation but I'm pretty sure Matt's a great guy he's had no criminal history or record so they figure 18 months probation and getting the money paid back is okay because he does a great job at what he does and you know he has a YouTube channel and he makes a lot of money and helps people out in the community so they figured they would just let him go with uh, a slap on the wrist at this point. That's good for Matt and his YouTube community um, you know it's a win in his case it's not an L because he's not in jail he's not getting a criminal record so that's awesome and I just wanted to give you guys an update on what happens so if you can please like this video comment down below with your thoughts and opinions about this and click that subscribe button for more thanks for watching everyone stay safe god bless you all take care and peace out